All right, I want to talk about fixed blades for a minute here. And these are from Odin Customs via my friend Anthony, who sends me his new Odin Custom knives to me first, and then I send them on to him. But I want to show off, and I've done some videos on a full custom version of this knife. This is the fixed blade sign from Odin Custom. These are very cool knives. Again, I'm not a fixed blade person, all this stuff. Like, But these are, well, this one for sure, these are in his DLC coated lineup. So he has, Odin Custom is a custom manufacturer. Well, custom maker. Like, yes, he manufactures knives, but he is a custom guy that does them one by one by one at his, in his shop. Um, and he's come out with this more affordable line, if you will, as a way to get more normal knives out in the, in the market, if you will. He can bang these out quicker because they are more, I'm going to say production cookie cutter, but they are less custom. It's just standard material. I'm, all right, so these are less custom because the other one I did had a Baker Forge Damascus, like crazy blade. These two are in Magna Cut. I had to stop the video and run over and get the cards because I totally faced, faced it. Um, but these are both in Magna Cut, so it's a little bit more... Uh, mainstream steel. I mean, it is kind of new and fancy and whatnot, but it's going to bring the cost down. It's going to make it easier for uh, Kyle, the owner, to make these quicker and get them out to market. All right. So they are the Sign Tonto in the Rock Grind, both of these. This one has the carbon fiber scales. These are a toxic green, I think they call it. I love this scale material and color. And I was tempted to buy this knife from Anthony, but the hell do I need another fixed blade for? I got, it seems like a dozen of them already. And I, I never carry them and I never use them. So I don't need one. And Anthony told me after I did the unboxing video, he reached out and he goes, dude, I'll make you a screaming deal. No, please. Somebody reach out. Shoot me an email, a freaking message on Instagram or Facebook. I'll hook you up with Anthony and you can buy this and I'll ship it to you. It's brand new. They just made them. November 14th is the date on these. November 14th is the date on this one also. This one has Zerkutai scales, but the rest of it is the same. And this one, he has upgraded, uh, har upgraded hardware. Zoom in and take a look at this. Odin can finish material amazingly this is beautiful there is no question it's much heavier because the zirkatai adds a lot of weight over carbon fiber as one would think the rock pattern here is a little bit different it's got some gunk on it from the uh, sheath which is normal so the rock patterns are different because these are still custom made knives just at a better price point. Now they're still not going to be 50 bucks. Like there's still some price to it. The Zerkatai one I think is slightly thicker as well. It feels like, but maybe that's just because it is heftier. Yeah, it's slightly, slightly thicker. I'll put a link at the end to the custom version I did, the full custom with the Baker Forge Damascus blade. Um, and that'll give you all of the specs and all of that good stuff. Um, this is really meant to just be more of a discussion. I think it's cool that Kyle is coming out with something that is maybe more affordable to some and is more readily and quickly available. This is the green one. And here is the 
Zerku Taiwan, just so you can see, I left it in the plastic, but yeah, so he's trying to bang these out and make more of them and get them out quicker. And I get it. The fixed blades are going to take a lot less time to make than the folders, but yeah, at some point I will own another Odin. I did sell my folder to Anthony. That's, I think, how Anthony and I started to be good friends because I was posting pictures of my folder and it was a sign recurve. I believe it was a prototype, one of the first ones that Kyle made. And um, I did a video of that and I'll put a link to my Odin playlist. And so Anthony and I started talking and Anthony, you know, it really fit Anthony's collection a lot more than it fit mine. So I sold that off to him and then we became good friends. We chat all of the time and he loans me a lot of his knives, which I absolutely love. That's what this is all about for me, is really making or growing a little knife community. There's a huge knife community. I'm a little tiny baby piece of it. And if I can bring some people together to, you know, buy and sell some knives and talk about things that we like, that's really what it's all about for me. This is the Jim Skelton Mini Hellraiser fixed blade. Again, green and stuff. So, yes, I mean, I love this scale material. I'm talking to a couple of makers right now about making a knife using that toxic green. Uh, Fat Carbon, I think, is who makes it. I don't recall, but I don't know. Kind of rambling here, so I will let you go. Please go check out the Odin playlist over here and let me know your thoughts about cool fixed blades. If you are interested in this one, please shoot me a message down below and uh, we'll hook you up. Thanks a lot, everyone.